Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. You know what I'm going to say? Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Uh, guys, I've been enjoying this beer for quite a while. I haven't had one in a while. Uh, one of my subs, Brad, had said something about, yeah, you want to try Terrap and Hops Kitchener? I'm going, well, I've had that. I'm pretty sure I reviewed it. And I went back and looked and I hadn't reviewed it. So I don't know how this one slipped through the cracks, guys. So uh, I've been enjoying this beer for, for several years. So. Uh, it's a uh, it's one I've had, but I probably hadn't had it. I have I definitely haven't had it since I started doing the beer reviews. But there was a time before I started doing the beer reviews. I don't think I've ever told any of y'all this that I had like a three or four month period that before I started doing video uh, documentation of what I was drinking, I did photographs. I, I would get different beers from usually from vintage cellar. And uh, I would take pictures of the bottles and, and, uh, and, and to let me know what beers that I had drank. So, and it got to be a pain trying to remember uh, what beers I had and what, what not without doing a list. So, uh, this one evidently swept through the cracks. I, I, I did it, uh, I did it when I did my original photograph session before I started doing the beer review. So, uh, thanks Brad for bringing this to my attention and we're going to review it tonight. And uh, This is a pretty good one guys. So. Let's get on with the show. This is uh, Terrapin Beer Company's Hopsecutioner. They're out of Athens, Georgia. It is an American IPA coming in at 7.30 ABV. Hence the Duval glass. Usually the 7 and above beers I do this. You can use a pint glass, a Becker, the Stein, the Mug, uh, whatever you want. But once I get to the 7%, uh, I like to use the Duval glass. It enhances the aromas to me. I mean, it looks better in the glass. It enhances uh, if you wanted to, you could use it for every beer. I mean, you know, you wouldn't want to pour wheeze and beers and stuff in it, but for your uh, for your lagers and stuff. If you want to take an aroma of that grassy, grainy smell, that's fine. But the stouts, the porters, and the IPAs, I like it in these type glasses, especially once they get to seven percent. It enhances the aromas. Uh, you're around serving from these guys, so uh, if you can get this beer in your area, you should be able to get it year round. Uh, and while I'm on the year-round serving, I love these guys to death. Just about everything Terrapin does, I love. If you look back, I, I had a lot of the uh, side project beers I reviewed earlier. They don't seem to have done quite as many as they did uh, last year. So, uh, right here on the label, it's got best if enjoyed by, and then it's got the months, and then it's got the weeks here. And it's got a little notch, what they say, this should be best. Alright, see if this makes sense to y'all. Best if enjoyed by... And it's got number six notched, and it's got the third week notched. All right, so this tells me that I should enjoy this by the third week of June. Okay, where's the year? Is that June of 2000? Is that June of 2010? Is that June of 2012? What damn year is it supposed to be, guys? As far as the week, that's irrelevant to me. How the month and the year? That would be the hot tip there, guys. Uh, I don't know, especially on the IPA. Guys, I love you to death. You need to have the year, not the week. The week is irrelevant. I mean, if you want to put that date also on there, that'll help narrow it down. But the year is more important than the week to me, guys. Especially on the IPA. Now, I'm going to quit fussing and get back to the beer review. The food pairing for this cuisine will be the curry and the Thai food. The cheeses are the peppery, the Monterey, the pepper jack, the sharp, the blue, all your more pungent cheeses, even gorgonzola and Limburger. The meat for this is fish, shellfish, and salmon. So, uh, pretty potent beer, pretty strong beer. It takes a strong dish to match up with it, guys. Glassware, pint back of the Stein mug, got the Duvel. So, the beer is 7.3% uh, ABV. It will keep, but you will lose the hoppiness of this beer over time. It will diminish, but it won't go bad. It'll be just less hoppier, guys. So, let's get the cap off of it. What do you think? I think it's a fresh bottle, guys, but there's no year on it. I can't guarantee it. 
wouldn't sign my life away on it. So hopefully they're talking about June of 2012. I sure hope so. If it's June of 2011, this is not going to be very happy. It is as clear as a bell. Probably one of the clearest beers I've ever seen. It's just, I don't know, people, I don't think water would be any clearer than this. Uh, not an extreme amount of bubbles in there, just enough to, to let you know that it's carbonated. It is a very orangey amber tangerine color, your very typical IPA color. I poured it fairly aggressively down the center there and didn't get a very big head. 7.3%, so it's a little stronger. This is this is a, a little more on the potent side as opposed to a, a, a Bud or a Miller or a Coors. Hey guys, uh, while I'm at it, uh, I'm not into the macro lagers anymore. I've drank my share of Budweiser's over the years. I'm not to put a battleship around as the song goes, but here they're coming out with a Bud Platinum. It's supposed to be a high ABV. You might see me review that one just to give them the thumbs up or thumbs down on that one. We'll see what that comes with. If I see one, I might pick it up and review it for it. But I'm the, usually not here to, to tap the horn or advertise for the, the, the major macro library. Bud Miller Coors being in that group or InBev, uh, Anheuser-Busch. What do you think? It looks like a typical IPA? Let's get a nose on it. I'm rambling again. Oh yeah. The hot presence of this is just enormous. They use... Chinook, Centennial, Semico, Amarillo, and they dry hop it with Cascade. It has got an unbelievable hot presence. It is, for a hop head, it is wonderful. I tell you what, when I, the first, when I first drank this, it was almost too hoppy for me, but now, like I said, well, and then when I, when I started drinking it before I did the video reviews, it was wonderful. I fell in love with it. And like I said, I haven't had it since then, so I probably haven't had this beer in a year and a half. Cheers, everybody. It has got one. It has got a citrusy, floral, even piney, more orange and tangerine than pine, though. Very, very, very nice smelling hoppy beer. I'm a little biased. Cheers, guys. I can't wait any longer. Oh yeah. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Wow. I could drink that all day. Every day. That is so pleasant. Wow. It's even better than I remember. Oh, wow. I don't know where to start. The, the hops presence to this is just unbelievable. But it is so well balanced. Wow. I love this beer. Guys, this is definitely an A beer. Uh, the, only, the only downgrade, like I said, they got the date. They went halfway on the date. They got the month and the week. We need a damn year. Uh, that's the only complaint that I've got here. The only complaint that I've got. And so all these beers, they'll put it on the carton or the case when it was done. But, I mean, if, if you have a store like mine have been a seller and they buff those up and you're able to buy them singles and stuff like that, you don't know. You really don't know. Uh, unless it's got something digitized somewhere where you can go look up a code. Uh, I even have a bar scanner on my smartphone and it doesn't help me out a lot of times on uh, when the beer was actually done. So, a lot of the uh, one-time brews and stuff, it'll tell me when it's done, but the uh, the ones they do all the time, like year-round here, and if it doesn't have it on the bottle, and I don't see the case or have the, the carton that came in, uh, I have no idea. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just buying it blind, guys. So I get up on that soapbox occasionally. I, I like to have those dates on the, on the IPAs, because uh, the freshness there matters. So. But this one's, it's, I think this is the 2012 version of it. Uh, I hope it is. I really do. It tastes pretty tasty, so I'm hoping and it's, and it's it, it, it tastes pretty hoppy too. So I'm hoping it's just, it's a fresh bottle. That's the only thing I can say. That's the only that's the only way I can tell, guys. I'm just hoping it's a fresh bottle. Well, I'm gonna sip on it just a little bit, but it's a eight beer, guys. I'll come back and let you know whether it's gonna get to nine or the ten. Stick around. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left. This is wonderful. Wow. 
it's got such a hot presence. It's unbelievable. With with Chinook, Centennial, Simcoe, Amarillo, and Dry Hop with Cascade. Wow. Yes, there. Guys, this is a wonderful beer. If you're a hop head, pick it up if you see it. Bye with you, guys. It is, uh, it is so tasty. Very good hot presence there. I'm pretty sure this is a fresh bottle of steel. The only, the only downfall of this, it's got the month and the week. It does not have the year, and I actually need the year more than I need the week, Terrapin. So, uh, it's going to get to nine. If it had the year on there, it would be a ten beer, guys. Uh, that is the only downfall to this beer, is not having the year on there. So, and it may be on the carton, and it may be on the six pack, but it needs to be on the bottle. Uh, I'm a stickler for that because a lot of places sell these onesies and twosies or, or however many uh, you want to get at a time. I can buy as many of these as I want. One, four, case, keg usually if you want to get a little five or six, six gallon barrel. Uh, very nice beer guys. Very pleasant. If you see this beer, pick it up if you're a hophead especially. Especially on the East Coast. Uh, they're out of Athens, Georgia. and. Uh, I think they, they bring it just about to every state on the East Coast. It may be wrong there, guys, but it's pretty tasty beer. A rate beer comes up with a 97 overall and 95 in the style. Pretty impressive numbers there also. And beer out comes up with an 86. So I think it's a little better than 86. I guess it would be up to the 96 uh, around where a rate beer had 97 and 95. I'd be right in between there. A 96 average that out. That's a that's an A beer, but it's not quite these B10, guys. So... That being said, rate, comment, subscribe, and hit the like button if you like it. If you need to share it or an opener, give me a shot. Come back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. See you then.